Hello and welcome to my 8th Wix 3D tutorial and in this tutorial I will teach you if statements and how to implement them on your program slash games and I've put together a small syntax like syntax reference here I can say and it has two types of if statements it's a single line if statement and a multi-line if statement syntax so uh, let's just quickly look through this. The single line if statement syntax, and I'm sure I showed you the key down example before. Like if a condition is true, then do the action that you specify. And an example is if key down 205, which is the right key, then do something. And here's the multi line if statement syntax, and it can be a little more, more complex but it's still base easy to understand so here's the syntax if condition then action do something and then you can just put end if right away or if you have another condition you can put else if condition do the action and then all the else is else if statements go here and when you finally finish doing your else if statements then there are the else there's the else statement that means if none of these fit if not the if statement which is our primary selection or any of the else if statements work then go to the else statement that's just what happens if like none of them fit so like if if this is returns false then go on to the next else if statement then the next next else if statements and then if none of those are returned true then go to the else statement and here the example is that if we add a variable lives that's less than or equal to five then print you are doing fine else if lives is less than one print you are dead else just print invalid argument and print is actually a command that i'm not sure i taught you in blitz 3d before it just prints text on the screen just print space and text in quotes and I'll assume you know these basic operators, less than, greater than, equal, less than, or equal to, greater than, or equal to, that you need to know, because that's basic math. I'm sure you know that. So that was just a quick review on the if statement syntax. Just minimize that. And let me open the Blitz 3, our Blitz 3D project, and let's implement that on our bottle crashing into the cube as you can see from our previous example I just returned the if count collision statement back to the crash equals collision entity bottle comma one hide entity crash and instead of just like making the cube disappear right after one crash let's make the cube have lives and display those lives on the screen and so let's just create our variable called lives on the top of the screen let's just set lives equals to 5 and let's just go down here into our if statement and say if count collisions bottle and well into the if count collisions statement and let's put each single time that it collides let's make lives equal to lives minus one yeah let's go one so each single time it crashes it's going to subtract one from live and all we need to do is create another if statement that's the point of this let's create another if statement here and the if lives is equal to zero then and always it's always a good habit to put if and end if before anything any of the main body of the if statement so if lives equals zero then let's just say hide entity cube that's really simple you can like make an explosion or something it's up to you now here I'm gonna teach you a new command right after the flip command which flips all the graphics to the screen to the front buffer from the back buffer I'm going to teach you a new command it's a text command 
Now, text command is different from a print command. Print com the print, it just prints some text and not necessarily positioning it anywhere. Text is a little more descriptive. It actually positions it. And text is a two-dimensional uh, object, I guess. So after text, you do a space, and then your x and y axis. Here's the x axis, and here's the y axis. And then another comma. And then in quotes, you have your text. It's pretty simple. So position the text at 10 on the x. 30 on the Y. And here, let's just write lives of the cube. Lives plus the variable live. Now, that's actually, uh, this is called combining strings. When you combine some kind of variable plus a string in quotes, a string is a text in quotes, just basically text, plus lives meaning that it adds on the value of lives to the string. And then we can just like add on lives plus some kind of other string or text. Lives left. So it would present like lives and then it's like three left. Three lives left. Just combining strings and then at the end, all of these all of these, like, strings and variables are combined into one final string and displayed on the screen. And make sure you have it after the flip command, and I just added a space here for convenience, so that lives would be displayed not right next to here, like this, it would be displayed right here as a final string. So, yeah, once you've done that, just... Yeah, lives equals zero height entity cube. We included everything. And I just want to warn you before we do anything, the cube is probably going to disappear very, very quickly. Because if you actually hold on the collision, so if my bottle is pressing against the cube, all the lives fly down, just like momentarily. So we're probably going to have to increase the lives up to around 100 for you to see something. And I'll just run this program. And no text appeared. Let's figure out why that is. Just go down to... I think I know why. Probably cut that. Render world. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright, so sorry. It wasn't after the flip command. It was after the render world command. My bad. Sorry about that. <laughs> and... Let's just add a space before this so it looks nice. All right. So let's run this program. And here in the top left corner, we have lives and 100 left. That's the lives of our cube. Now, I will just move in the cube. And since I don't have a big recording win video uh, window, I'll just move right into the cube, and you'll see how the lives go down. 99 left. And that is a problem because the cube just disappeared in three... Se oh, yeah. Well, let's see here. And obviously the problem is that I forgot a small consequence. We just hide the crash, and we're just going to have to delete that. Just minimize one from lives. Now everything should be fine. Run the program. Sorry for messing up so much times. It's not really like me. So there we go. Now let's move in, and the lives literally fly down. And as soon as we have zero left, the cube just goes away, as you just saw. And that's just a simple example of an if statement. So just have fun experimenting, making the cube change color after each single, like, 100 lives down. For instance, if you had, like, 500 lives and each single 100 lives goes down, and you can make the cube change color... Apparently, I don't have enough time to show you that because of YouTube video limitations. So, thanks for watching this. Again, sorry for messing up so much times. Yeah. <laughs> so, in my next tutorial, I will explain four statements. So, see ya.